Hello everyone, Robert Saunders here again, continuing on our video series with the Dell Automation Platform and pulling some interesting artifacts in now, storage infrastructure. If you saw one of the previous videos, I pulled in some power stores. I have a few there. They're all named Power Store 01, yes, but over on the right, we have the tags where I can filter accordingly depending on which one I'm working on. This is the orchestrator view with the storage infrastructure filter applied. And you can see the different OS versions there and updates that are available. These are automatic upload or updates that were downloaded to the Power Store over on the Power Store appliance side. So that's a configuration that's done over there. But I can see through the orchestrator here, I can essentially orchestrate my updates all from here if I'd like. So let's see how that's done. I see some available updates. There's a pre-update health check, P-U-H-C uh, there. And then there's also the OS update, and I can hover over these. So I can hover these little flags here that'll tell me the different um, versions and states of the operating systems for my power store storage. Again, I talked about tagging over on the right. Helps us filter and see what to do or what to work with at what time. Now, it's interesting here, I've been asked, why would I run a health, health check first if, as also part of the update, it also does a health check? Well, maybe an administrator wants to run a health check during the week, and then over the weekend, he's actually going to do, he or she is going to do the actual upgrade. The upgrade will also do a health check, but you never know, there might be some drift or some changes in the environment. So you can run a health check anytime right here, and that was the health check, again, that was automatically downloaded. So I kicked it off and I'm gonna browse over to the jobs. Now I get a jobs view from the orchestrator, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like over here on the power store also, just to show completeness. We see that finished, it didn't take very long. The pre-upgrade health check was successful against both nodes. So I can see that last job there that it actually the PUHC was successful. That's good based on that job ID good. So now I see there's available updates here, 4101 from 4001. So let's go ahead and kick off this, this OS update for the Power Store from the Dell Automation Platform Orchestrator. Super easy. I am going to show for completeness over here on the Power Store again the job running. There's the Power Store we're going to update. 4001, confirming that is the correct OS that we're moving from, but we're gonna check the box and we're gonna click update. Now, there's the available update there, the update endpoint, and we see where we're going to with, with regards to the version, 4101. So I click update and let that go. The job is created just like before. It's logged in the orchestrator jobs. These will pull about every 30 seconds, but I'm gonna jump over to the power store and I'm gonna monitor over here also, just to show all the steps that are being executed. And we see a lot there on the left. There's two nodes in the power store. It's going to upgrade each one simul or each one individually, actually. It takes about two hours or one hour per node inside uh, the, the power store. There's an A and a B. It takes about one hour each or two hours in total to upgrade this entire appliance. So of course I'm gonna lose some connection here as I'm connected into the power store. It's gonna reconnect if it can. If not, I just have to reconnect via the browser, no big deal. I expect this. At no time am I losing data from the power store as it's managing that accordingly as it has the data spread across both of those nodes inside the power store. So I see here completion now, fast forwarding, one hour and 57 minutes. So right at two hours in total, again, as I mentioned, one hour for each power store node, super easy, all done from the Dell Automation Platform Orchestrator. Now I can hover over again and I see that I'm at 4101 for this power store, no updates, and the OS update was successful. I am in great shape managing everything from the Automation Platform Orchestrator. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it.